Rabbit. Rabbit. Hey Diz Kids, Disneyland Dude here, and today I want to wish you all a very merry leap day. So for this very special holiday that only comes every four years, I thought I would talk about Disney Critters Who Hop. That's right, those very special animated amphibians that we all love. This is my top five Disney frogs. First up, I gotta give a special mention to Nightmare Before Christmas, because they use frog's breath. I just always love that imagery of some frog poking his head out of a jar and burping noxious gas into Professor Frank's soup. Yeah, that was always just really weird to me. Not technically one of my one of my top five, but just had to just had to make that special mention. Number five is Brer Frog. Brer Frog was initially introduced in Song of the South, which you can no longer see, but he has been implemented as the narrator slash host of Splash Mountain at Disney World. You see him a couple times through the ride. He's rocking in his rocking chair, smoking his corn cob pipe. And you see a couple other references to his house. He's just kind of an all around uh, chilled out guy, you know? He's just, he's just living the life. He's living the country life and nobody can fault him for that, right? Number four is Frankie the Frog from Meet the Robinsons. Now I personally feel like Meet the Robinsons is kind of an underrated Disney film. It's really innovative really clever and, and, and it's got a lot of heart. One of my favorite scenes is where you see this gaggle of singing frogs and Frankie is the band leader and he's got that Michael Buble, Frank Sinatra crooner voice that's just really strange but also really, really cool. Number three! Of course, no Disney frogs list would be complete without the characters from Princess and the Frog. So Tiana and Prince Naveen, I know they're not at the top of my list, it's, it's not one of my favorite favorite movies, but of course they are probably the most identified as Disney frogs. I mean, if I left them off this list, what kind of Disney frogs list would this be? Right. Number two! My number two pick is Kermit the Frog. Now Kermit hasn't always been a Disney frog, so that's why he's number two. He's actually one of my favorite characters of all time, but uh, since Disney has bought the Muppets, I figured I had to include him on this list. He's just one of the best characters in modern mythology. I mean, who doesn't love Kermit? Seriously. Hey, old Kermit the Frog here. Ah! Yeah, like that. Number one. My number one frog isn't actually a frog, but he is hopping mad. Absolutely. My number one pick is J. Thaddeus Toad. Yes. Toad is just one of my favorite characters in general. I remember first seeing The Adventures of Mr. Toad and thinking this is such a wild character. I mean, he is so strange and so crazy, but he's just having so much fun that he doesn't care what anyone has to say, even if it's good advice. He's he's totally car crazy. Also, he has a lot of significance to me because one of my earliest childhood memories is riding Mr. Toad's Wild Ride and thinking that was just one of the weirdest experiences of my life. One of my favorite parts is when he first sees the automobile and for days he's just running around with crazy eyes. <laughs> Toad's such a weird character. So that's it. That's my top five frogs to celebrate this February 29th. It's a leap year. It's a great year. We got an extra day. Go do something magical with it. I think I might go to Disneyland. So I gotta go ride Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Obviously, it's it's just gotta happen. If you like this list, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what top five lists you wanna see next time. All right, everybody, have a happy leap day. See ya.